it's Kamala here and if you can see the title of this it's worldly Christians are always more worried about those exposing evil than the evil being exposed and then it goes on and gives a bunch of verses about exposing evil which is what is being done about the Mandela effect changing the Bible by Star Trek quantum computing article a random one I just found on the internet about people don't like their evil exposed and people don't like you exposing anyone else so you don't expose them basically you just stay quiet um, the so-called believers today will go against God's word and stand up for the devil and fight against God by condoning and supporting wickedness Go against God's word, which is what Cat at Extol is doing. Part of the article is talking about how can you love music that blasphemies God? You're nothing without God. Isn't he your father? How can you go against him and stand up for Satan? You are to hate everything that God hates. Every biblical leader stood up against evil and many lost their lives speaking against it. There is a reason Jesus says true believers will be hated and persecuted. If you desire to live a godly life, well, you will be persecuted and there's no way around it. That's why many believers stay quiet when they're on the hot seat because they're afraid of man more than they're afraid of God. If someone's going to stray from Christ, are you going to be silent so they won't hate you? Or are you going to humbly and lovingly say something? Cat, I'm humbly and lovingly saying to you, repent for slandering and blaspheming the word of God. Please, Cat and your subs, repent. The Holy Spirit will convict the world of its sins. That's a fact. If we stop defending Christianity, exposing evil, rebuking false teachers, and confronting believers, we will have more people lost and led astray. More people will believe false teachings, such as false doctrines of man. When you remain quiet, then you start joining wickedness. And remember, God is not mocked. Cat, you're mocking God. Stop being part of the world, expose it instead, and save lives. The person who truly loves Christ is the one who's going to stand up for Christ no matter if we lose friends, family, or if the world hates us. The people who hate Christ are going to read this and say, stop judging. I'm not judging. God will do that. Say, Ephesians 5, 11 12, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. Now, I don't know if that's a KJV. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Well, Kat, we don't have an appearance to go on because you don't ever put your face up there. Because maybe is there something people might be able to see in it? You don't put your face up there ever for anyone to see. And yes, it's true. Your identity has been being sought. So why don't you just come out and say who you are and point the camera at your face while you read from your script of so-called nefarious quantum D-wave computer changes, which are all lies. So put your face in front of your words, cat, and don't blame Wendy for trying to find your identity. Don't do that. Then it goes on to talk about the sin of being silent. Ezekiel three eighteen through 19 If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way in order to save his life, that wicked person shall die for his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked, and he does not turn from his wickedness, or from his wicked way, he shall die for his iniquity, but you will have delivered your soul. Cat, I've been warning you for six months. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to come out and repent and say, I was wrong? The word of God is true and eternal, never changing, eternally settled in the heavens. Isaiah 5.20, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's what you're doing.
1 John 2.15, Stop loving the world and the things that are in this world. If anyone persists in loving the world, the Father's love is not in him. And once again, Kat, that's you, loving the science fiction of the D-Wave quantum computer more than you're loving your heavenly Father. So I am warning you, asking you, pleading with you to stop, decease, desist, repent, come out with it, make a video, and admit that you were wrong. So you stop leading others astray because their blood will be on your hands. And your identity was being sought because we wanted to see if there was a tie to witchcraft or if you're a paid disinformation agent. One of the two, Cat. Why don't you come out with the truth about that, too? That would be good. This is Kamala. You know how to get a hold of me. I've been rebuking you for six months now, and you still put a video out an hour. Who's helping you? Who? Someone. Why don't you tell us the truth? Or the truth is not in you.